Hey guys, Jen from Phoenix and Lotus, and today I am catching up again, still, whatevs, on the 31 Days of Tarot video challenge. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about my 2017 tarot goals. Um, Ethany had posted in the Tarot Readers Academy Facebook group a while ago and asked us to think about that. So this is something that I'm pretty clear on. Um, so number one, I want to use decks that push me and challenge me as a reader. And what do I mean by that? I want to use decks that in some ways fall outside the traditional rider weight imagery. Um, I also want to learn to trust my intuition more. So instead of immediately thinking, oh, this is the Eight of Wands and that is momentum, or this is the Three of Swords and that is pain and heartbreak, um, I want to really sit with the cards more, look at them more, and get that additional layer and dimension of message that comes through from my guides. So deepening my intuition, deepening my connection to my guides. Um, another piece of that is just to read more. Um, I do a daily draw for myself for um, with tarot every morning. I have a buddy that we email each other about this is my card of the day, this is how I can see that energy potentially shaping my day or coming into my day. Um, then a couple hours later I do the morning oracle draw for you guys, my my tribe on Instagram, and I share that out on Facebook and Twitter as well, but I do that. And then I do readings for myself around full moon, new moon, birthdays, anniversaries, big rites of passage, but I'd like to um, be reading more often for a, for a wider range of questions. Um, and I, I do client readings as well, but I have not been as focused on client readings as I have been on building the other parts of my business. So that's also something I would like to do more of. Um, so those are really my three main tarot goals to use harder decks trust my intuition more and just read more in general. And um, let me just check my notes in my tarot journal. See, that was, oh, spread crafting. That was the other thing I wanted to get into. I want to make more of my own spreads. And in doing that, I really want to also start working more with tarot and oracle decks in the same spread because I'm typically like straight up tarot girl or straight up oracle deck girl or possibly if I do a tarot reading I'll draw one oracle card at the end for clarification and I see so many other people out there that are combining tarot and oracle decks in just beautiful ways and I want that I want to be able to do that so that's another one of my goals for 2017.